Welcome to the XP Group's discussion of SEMA paper P1, Performance Operations. Today we're going to discuss a couple of other um, cost accounting systems that are mentioned in the syllabus, one of them being throughput accounting. Now this is a somewhat um, uh, extreme uh, uh, cost accounting method because it seeks to do the following. It focuses on direct material costs as being the only truly totally variable costs um, in production and therefore treats all other costs including uh, direct uh, wages as being essentially fixed costs. So the objective of throughput accounting is to ma maximize the amount of throughput that a company can achieve in a period of time. Now throughput, let's just define it, is defined therefore as revenues minus the total, total let's call it totally variable costs. And therefore it bears a, a superficial resemblance to the marginal costing system sort of taken to an extreme, but we should keep in mind that the throughput is uh, really uh, coming from a, uh, a slightly different um, angle because what it's doing is it's not uh, assigning any operating costs to products themselves. The only cost of the product uh, which is reflected in the throughput accounting system is uh, direct material costs themselves. So we could say these totally variable costs will be direct materials. That's the only really avoidable cost if you do not um, produce or purchase components that are brought in and uh, built into the product as well. That's just a, uh, a slight refinement. Okay, that's one, uh, one method which is mentioned. The other method which uh, we need to have a basic familiarity with is the activity-based uh, costing system. And what ABC seeks to do is to understand uh, costs and how they are arise, uh, how they arise, uh, what causes the the costs, and to do so by identifying activities. So that's the key word in activity-based costing: is to identify the activities that give rise to costs, and which we will call cost drivers, and making a link between uh, between the two. Let's just go through a simple example of uh, ABC. To, to get a sense of how uh, costs are, um, are, are, are dealt with in the ABC system. Let's take um, a factory uh, hospital, for example, and they have annual costs of $500,000, and they, uh, the clinic exists to serve two workshops where production takes place, A and B, and we have the workshops with headcounts of 200 employees and 300 um, respectively. Now, if we take a more traditional way of apportioning costs of this clinic and splitting it up between the two workshops, one might do so on the basis of employees. That would not be uh, necessarily an illogical way to, to do so because the presumption would be that the use of the clinic would be proportionate to the number of people um, employed in the respective workshops. And one can see here that the split up is, is, very, uh, is, is very easy to, to calculate. It would be basically 40% of the clinic's costs would be covered by workshop A and 60% of the costs uh, by B. Now, the, let's say an advantage of the conventional or traditional way of apportioning costs is that the rule is relatively simple, easy to apply, and therefore not time consuming. But is it accurate? That's the question. Now, ABC wants to scrutinize the uh, costs and what gives rise to them to understand um, what, what's actually going on here. If we look at the number of visits to the clinic by the employees from workshops A and B, we may see a completely different picture that the number of actual visits, so the, the activity which gives rise to, to costs, um, are, are now in a completely different proportion. We can see here the workshop A, which has fewer um, uh, employees than workshop B, actually 
uh, generates twice as many visits to the uh, clinic. And therefore, the apportionment basis, the way of splitting it up, will be accordingly uh, different. You can do the maths here to, uh, to confirm that. So we have different levels of usage, uh, which may actually reflect, interestingly here, um, different uh, levels of difficulty, perhaps. Maybe workshop A is, is a more... Um, uh, uh, has types of work in it which uh, give rise to a higher level of, uh, of injuries, and therefore uh, there is a greater need by workshop A, based on the nature of its, of its work, to make more intensive use of the clinic. This is basically a, 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 an illustration to get at the idea of what ABC uh, seeks to do, and of course there are various levels of complexity involved in uh, ABC systems, which we will see as we proceed through the SEMA syllabus. By way of anticipation, one can uh, see that by understanding how costs are generated in an ABC system, then we can, uh, this allows us to base our budgetary and planning processes on the ABC system so that we have a activity-based budgeting, ABB, and, of course, managing performance then as well, so uh, looking for ways to be able to reduce uh, the costs that are generated. That would be a more uh, proactive uh, activity-based management system. So these things are all intrinsically linked with each other. And, of course, um, by understanding what the... Uh, true costs are of individual products, we can also make better pricing decisions um, in the company. Now, the disadvantages, remember, there are uh, qualitative uh, um, observations we, we need to make about um, any of these systems that we uh, consider. Uh, the ABC system is complex. It requires additional degrees of information which may not be provided by existing company systems. And therefore, in order to implement ABC, companies have to um, reconfigure and re uh, redesign their systems. Therefore, what we're saying is it's rather costly to uh, implement a, an ABC system and to uh, maintain such a system as well. So there has to be uh, a decided uh, let's say, strategic commitment from above, from senior management, to make an ABC system really uh, take hold and to be practiced um, diligently within a company so that the benefits are truly realized. If we have um, a, a, a simpler, uh, slower-moving environment where a more traditional cost system would uh, not be uh, wrong or, or it would give us uh, the possibility to effectively uh, manage the costs of uh, our products and to be able to price them properly and so on in a, in a profitable way, then uh, the, the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, would apply and we could live very comfortably with a traditional system. So the, before a company decides to implement ABC, it has to be um, satisfied, it has to satisfy itself that it will derive benefits which exceed the costs of uh, designing and implementing and ultimately maintaining such a system.